Now you'll see here on the left hand side of the Micrologix 1500 in the processor there's a little door here and underneath that door we'll see two small trim pots. These are for the user to turn the change of value inside the controller from 0 to 250. In the program you could use these to allow the end user to actually speed up a process or maybe slow it down or maybe increase the gap between a couple of boxes or parts. Whatever you think, it's totally up to you how you implement them. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a closer look at them. And now let's take a look at the DCOM feature. Here in the front of the unit you can see there's an indicator light labeled DCOM. This indicator comes on when the DCOM button located under the processor cover is pressed. So we'll take off the processor cover and take a look at that button. Now this is a toggle button that will toggle the communications port of the processor between whatever the user has it set at and the default out of box settings. And of course when the button is pushed and the unit is set to the default settings the DCOM light will come on. Well that's it for today's episode.